Hello everybody, this is Drinking Gamer back for the concluding round for round one of the Lightning Assault Tournament. Bit of a tongue twister there, isn't it? Yes, we got four more batches to go through here, which concludes round one, as I said. Starting us off with Brachyceratops against Monoclonius. Ineosaurus against Centrosaurus. Chomp versus the Orange Triceratops, which will be an interesting match. And Pachyrhinosaurus taking on Anchyceratops. Right, without further ado, let's get on with these matches. This could be an interesting clash, because in the red corner, we have a Brachyceratops. Don't see too much of this, dude. Mainly because it's not that great. Damn, bam, bam, bam. But will it spring a surprise in this tournament? Well, Sunni Ceratops certainly didn't spring a surprise. In the blue corner, however, another dinosaur we don't see too much of. Monoclonius. Fun fact about Monoclonius, it only ever got one printing in an arcade game. And that was Series 2, 4th Edition. Or, if you're Japanese, 2007, 4th Edition. Plus, there's your fun fact of the day over the, out the way. Now, this is intriguing because one of these two is going to win. Ooh, is Monoclonius getting off to a good start there? Yes, I know I screwed up. I set, I clicked paper instead of scissors. <laughs> off to a good start, here yeah, I am. But it didn't change anything. Monoclonia still got ahead. Oh, he's, oh, we got a tie. A tie attack there. Ties favour Monoclonia. It's the charge type. Oh, is this Mo Brachyceratops dead? Nope. But it clings on. But Monoclonia's off to a strong start. Hey, Brachyceratops finally getting ahead. A Tupu dies to come as well. Can Brachyceratops turn this around? Or is it too little too late? Ooh. Actually, no it won't, because the charge type and the tire attack. <laughs> that electric charge just increases his attack power. But I tell you what, it's getting off hits. Oh, another electric charge. And all of a sudden, we're level packing. Well, it all comes down to this, isn't it? Of course, Monoclonius still has the edge here because a tie will be enough. Whereas Brachyceratops needs to get the hit. Oh, and he doesn't. Monoclonius clings on to the win and takes a 1 0 lead. Well, I give Brachyceratops some props here. Put up a fight. It looked dead and buried there. However, Monoclonius was able to hang on in the end to get that crucial 1 0 lead. Of course, it's still all to play for as we move on to round two. Right, round two between these little bipedals. Can Brachyceratops bite back or will Monoclonius take a 2 0 win? I don't know, even though Monoclonius did get the finishing hit, I felt like the momentum was with Brachyceratops. Can he continue that in this round? It's crucial that he starts off well, because he didn't last time. And he's got quite a long tail, hasn't he? For a lightning dinosaur. In fact, both of them have relatively long tails. But it's Monoclonius who starts with a crest. Oh, they'll tie suit Monoclonius down to the ground, and a plasma anchor will end this match. Wow, I think we're looking at a 2 0 win. Oh, Brachyceratops! Clinging on by a thread, and yet it's done. Wow. Monoclonius could be one to watch in this tournament. Brachyceratops didn't really get going in that match. Had a little bit of a spurt of momentum, but Monoclonius wrestled it back to take a 2 0 win. That was quick, wasn't it? Quick as lightning. <laughs> right, that's match numero uno down. Now, now on to our second matchup, which sees Ineosaurus take a crack at Centrosaurus. Okie dokie then, in the red corner, we've got the Ineosaurus, the glass cannon of the lightning dinosaurs, this bad boy, because it has a crap ton of attack. 
Okay, this one's not the attack type version though. I think it's crisis type. I can't remember what type I put on it, but it's not the attack type version. If it was the attack type version, it would have seven, lots of more attack. But anyway, in the blue corner, I used the wrong character. I should be using Max, but oh well. We got Centrosaurus. Oh, I found Centrosaurus's horn ridiculously too big. Centrosaurus, the o the um the OG itself, we should say. Can it follow Monoclonius's footsteps and buck their place in the next round? Or will Ineosaurus win it for the weaklings? Ooh, starting off with a crit. Ineosaurus has an extremely powerful crit, mind you. Yeah, look at that. And the poison on top. Ineosaurus getting off to the perfect start. Oh, oh, uh, mm. Well, Centrosaurus, you need to get a hit, buddy. Otherwise... Oh, he does get a hit. He does get a hit. Getting the Dromeo rush off as well. Centrosaurus biting back. Slippy, slippy, slap, slap. And... The elemental power coming in handy there, maybe? Oh, look at that! Archaeoptrix charm coming in, healing up the Ineosaurus. Not by much, but by a little bit. But Centrosaurus, not done yet. Getting off the next hit. Can he come back? Well, that does nothing for him now. Or maybe it will. But that poison is serious, chipping away at his health. Oh, there's a tie. And yet, despite a little bit of a fight back, Ineosaurus getting the job done. Wow. Absolutely clinical from the glass cannon. Well, he got off one hit, but it was a big one. And that made the difference. On to round two. Will Centrosaurus pull it back, or will Ineosaurus secure the win? Right, round two. Will Ineosaurus' clinical nature be enough? Or can the Centrosaurus put up a fight? Well, in fairness, I feel like Centrosaurus did better, fared better in terms of getting more hits off. But Ineosaurus got off that crep, which was Venom Fang. And the poison kept chipping away at Centrosaurus' HP, which is why Ineosaurus won. Like, under normal circumstances, the dinosaur the Gark gets off the most hits would win. So a bizarre first round there. Well, Centrosaurus continuing in its impressive form. Getting off the first hit. An elemental power will help this turn. Getting off another hit there. Maxing up that elemental power. This is a strong start from Centrosaurus. Looking to get the job done early. Oh, oh, that's a tie. Of course, one crit from Ineosaurus could change everything. Oh, and well it does get off ahead. Not much damage dealt. Oh, slightly more actually. So yeah, I think this Ineosaurus is Crisis type. Ineosaurus getting a hit, but again, the elemental power is going to limit that damage because it's a lightning move. Oh, oh. Yeah, that, yeah, that's it now. Ineosaurus biting the big one. Surely. Yeah. And Centrosaurus deservedly level. Well, again, I feel like Centrosaurus has been the better dino in this match. And I feel like going into the deciding round, I think Centrosaurus is going to get the job done. But let's find out. Well, here's the deciding round. Can Ineosaurus get that crit off, or can Centrosaurus continue its impressive form? Again, I feel like Centrosaurus is going to win. Mainly because he's gone off more hits in this match than Ineosaurus, overall. But Ineosaurus 
especially in round one, made better use of his hits. But we'll, let's, we'll have to see. And we start with a tie. Centrosaur is getting the first hit off. Will he be joint? Will he be facing Monoclonius in the next round? Looks likely, doesn't it? Chippy chippy shop shop. Boosh. Actually, I need to work on my dunk. Always neglect them, I do. <laughs> oh my god, it's a pathetic amount of health. What a waste. You hardly get that move off as it is, and th that's just a waste. But it could make all the difference. You never know. Kyniosaurus. Wow. Gets off a lightning axe, though. Makes up for the lack of damage. Not really. Elemental power there. Proving its power. Limiting the damage. Uh, yeah, yeah, mate, mate. You can get off like 50 of these and you're probably still not going to kill Centrosaurus. You need a crit. Ineosaurus desperately needs a crit. Hi. Speaking of crit, Centrosaurus hasn't even landed a crit yet. Ooh, Ineosaurus is chipping away, actually. Uh, I, I, I will give it credit. It's chipping away with those like these those hits. Oh, is a tie? Ineosaurus, is he gonna win? Oh, he's not. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, that's definitely it now. The Strophio, the Dromeo rush makes sure of it. And yeah, it did survive. The Strophio rush. Dromeo Rush coming in to finish the job and give Centrosaurus a deserved 2-1 victory. Well played by the Red Horned Beast. Actually, out of interest, if that Dromeo Rush didn't happen, let's see what would have happened. Okay, so Ineosaurus would have gone paper. Ooh, that is the difference. Ineosaurus would have got the next hit, so Ineosaurus would have won had it not been for Dromeo Rush. Could that be a contributing factor going forward in this tournament? Probably not. It probably won't matter in the end, but you know. It's always nice to think about those what-ifs. Right, speaking of what-ifs, we're gonna find out what happens if Chomp takes on the Orange Triceratops. Do you know the Slasher? We got a red corner. In the red corner, we have Chomp. Skippy, skippy, skip, 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 skip. Yes, we have Chomp in the red corner. Doesn't look as colourful, actually. No, now looking at the crest. Oh, he doesn't have a roar, apparently. He's quiet, but oh well. Yes, can Chomp... Will Chomp do well in this tournament? Or will he suck like the other anime dinos have? Well, it's practically a mirror match, because in the blue corner, we have the orange Triceratops. Now, what I find interesting, for those of you that don't know, this Triceratops is, a, is like, not Super Triceratops, not the Dino Tector one, it's just a normal Stone Cold tri Triceratops. And I actually found that in the codes, al along, along with many other secret, like, cards and such. And I honestly think, even though the game says it's just a Triceratops, I actually think it's a different genus of Triceratops. As as Chomp is as well, because you look at the you look at the anime, and Chomp is like the only anime dino that is a different color to it to the other Triceratops. The other the, the normal Triceratops is grey, whereas Chomp is obviously orange. And well, that is a good start from the orange Triceratops, the the one on the right. So yeah, it's very intriguing. So I feel like. The, the, um, the Grey Triceratops and Maximus, I feel like, are Triceratops Maximus, because there is a genus called Triceratops Maximus. So I feel like the, those Triceratops are Triceratops Maximus, and Chomp and the Orange Triceratops are Triceratops Horridus. That's my theory, anyway. 
Pop your theories down below. Why do you think we have two different Triceratopses? Well, Chomp is in a bit of a pickle here on a sliver of health, but he is Crisis type, Super Crisis type. He's got the attack boost. He's got the electric charge. Can Chomp turn this around? Um, the answer to that is no. The orange Triceratops, the gold Triceratops on the right, hangs in to get the 1 0 lead. Well, that was an interesting round, wasn't it? Mainly because I was talking about my theories about why there's two different Triceratopses in this game. I mean, it makes sense if you think about it, because you have Allosaurus Fragilus and Allosaurus Atrox. You have two different Lambiosauruses, so why not two different Triceratops? But anyway, enough about that. Let's move on to round two. Dino Slash! Skip! Well, can Chomp pull this back? Or will the orange Triceratops on the right get the job done? Okay, I'm just going to say Horridus. <laughs> will Chomp win or will Horridus win? Yes, yes, it's a mirror match, Maximus. It's basically a mirror match. Actually, is this slight difference? I actually don't even think there's a difference between these two. They look exactly the same. Ooh, the, the Horridus getting off the first hit there. It's a crit, it's a Kamikaze tackle, and it does an ass ton of damage to Chop. Ooh, but Chomp does get us hit back. Getting up, getting our tap boost going as well. Can he get some electric charge in? Indeed he does. Chomp got that plot armor. Will it take him far in his tournament? We'll have to see. Well, he's got to get past this dude first. Ooh, he gets a crit. Chomp fighting back. Oh, that's a lot of damage. That attack boost and electric charge combo proven effective. Very effective as the gold as the Horridus goes down. And we are level pecking. One win apiece for these two, so you know what that means. Yes, it's going to be on a t-shirt eventually if I ever sell merch. It all comes down to this next round. Well, it's the deciding round between these two Triceratopses. Which one will prevail? Will it be Chomp or will it be Horridus? Ooh, I don't know. I feel like Chomp might win this. I, I'm going to go with Chomp. Maybe he will be one of the anime diamonds that actually does well in this tournament. Well, with the exception to Armatus, who did actually win. I will give Armatus credit. He did win. did win the Earth tournament. But other than that, pretty much every other anime dinosaur in, the, in these mini tournaments have sucked. Will Chomp be the exception, along with Armatus? <laughs> It was a Kamikaze tackle from the Horror Death. It did big damage last time, and it'll probably do big damage this time. Yeah, look at that. Over half health gone. But Chomp strikes back with his crit of his own. Attack boosting imminent as well, along with electric charge. That probably puts the, ori the Horridus within killing range. Ooh, ooh, that's a tie. Yeah, that'll do it. Chomp gets the job done. And it is Chomp advancing to the next round, it defeating the Horridus. So in the clash of the Triceratopses, it's Chomp that comes out on top. And, well, he had a slow start, Chomp, but once he got going, he got going. Chomp will find out his next opponent in the final matchup of round one, which sees the Pachyrhinosaurus going up against Ankyceratops. Right, in the red corner, we got the Pachyrhinosaurus. The very oddly looking Pachyrhinosaurus, because I don't think I've ever seen another Pachyrhinosaurus look like that. <laughs> Especially with a horn like that. Will this Pachyrhinosaurus do well in this tournament? It's going to be tough because in the blue corner, we got the gaseous, we got the gassy, 
the um, the I, I, I've lost my words, but we got Anticeratops. Anticeratops, also a strong contender in this tournament, could do well. A clash of silvers, this very interesting. The winner, the winner will face Chomp in round two, and both of these two face Chomp in the anime, and both of them lost because Chomp got plot armor on his side. Oh, this is going to be a really tight match, I feel. Watch one of them win 2-0 now, as I say that. Ooh, ties do favour the Anticeratops. It's got the Move Breaker. It's got the... It's the I believe it's Charge type. It might, might be Strength type, but it gets off a Skydive. Anticeratops starting good. Taking it to the air. Boosh. Actually, speaking of, I should really do another grudge match. I haven't done one for... I haven't done one for a month or so, so yeah, I need to do another grudge match. Ooh, Anticeratops starting off quick. Yeah, it's going to happen. Anticeratops is going to win 2-0, yeah? <laughs> I say it's going to be a really tight match, and one of them is going to win 2-0. Boosh! Uh, it's not Camp Pachyrinosaurus out yet. It can, it can come back. Oh, well, there's a tie. At least it lands damage. Is that it? Yep, yeah, that's it for Packy Rhinosaurus. Anki Ceratops, quite convincingly, wins round one. I should point out, Anki Ceratops is growing on me. Really is growing on me, Anki Ceratops. Love it. Mainly because of Jurassic World Evolution, when it, when it won and it killed the Alpha Acrocanthosaurus, which was an amazing victory. Right, let's move on to round two. Well, I predicted an even match. Will my prediction come true? Or will my other prediction come true where one of them wins 2-0? Either way, I can't lose you, can I? <laughs> if Pachyrhinosaurus wins, then we're offering an even match. If Anticeratops wins, then it's a 2-0 win. Can Pachyrhinosaurus fight back? Because it didn't really get going last time. I don't even think... Did it even get a hit? I don't even think I've got a hit. Anticeratops is too strong. Oh, well, it gets a hit this time. Packy Rhinosaurus starting well. Ooh, things getting interesting. Packy Rhinosaurus turning up for a change. Anky Ceratops will need to dig deep here if he wants to win 2-0. Oh, we got a lightning axe to come as well. Big hit from the Packy Rhinosaurus, and wow, look at this. Packy Rhinosaurus storming back into this match. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? Net crusher to finish the job. Not that it's got much of a tail, but you know, it's Dinosaur King. Boosh. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? Quick as a wink, Patty Rhinosaurus dispatches the Anticeratops and evens the score. Okay, maybe we are, we are on course for an even match, just not in the way I expected. Let's find out what happens in the deciding round between these two silvers. Ooh, we're in the Alpha Arena. Well, they both have, have had dominant rounds so far. <laughs> Imagine if this ends in a tie now. <laughs> As a side note, if this does end in a tie, well, I'll, I'll just do the match again until someone wins. Since they're both one apiece. Ooh, Anticeratops getting the first hit. It's a Thunder Bazooka. Good start there from Anticeratops. From the gaseous beast itself, which I forgot to put Death Grind on. Naughty me. Ooh, but a Packy Rhinosaurus responds with a hit of his own. Okay, yes, this is going to be a much more even match. Wow, that did loads of damage. Counter type being effective there. Well, Packy Rhinosaurus coming back, taking the lead, chipping away with the Anyang Gera dive, and it's one hit away from winning. Oh, hang on a minute. Has he already done it? Oh, look at that. On the brink of winning. Packy Rhinosaurus. Looking really good after that poor start. Ooh, the Anticeratops ain't done yet, though. But it still, it probably needs two hits to win. 
Where is the Pachyrhinosaurus? Only needs a tie. So Pachyrhinosaurus, well on top. And yet, there it is. Nighty night to the Yankee Ceratops and his Packy Rhinosaurus that books his place in the second round where he will face Chomp. That was a much more even contest there. Both got off hits, but Packy Rhinosaurus was able to continue his winning momentum from round two to get the job done. Right, that concludes round one, ladies and gentlemen. But hey, we'll have a look at the brackets and we'll see the matchups for round two and end the session. Go through these two first. So we got Bash of the Centrosaurids with Monoclonius going up against Centrosaurus. I could... Now this could be a very even match. And down here we will see a rematch from the anime between Chomp and the Pachyrhinosaurus. Although it lasted like two seconds because the Pachyrhinosaurus died with Ultima Thunder, but you know. Chomp doesn't have ultimate thunder this time, so how will he fear against the Pachyrhinosaurus this time round? And yes, the golden tri- the Horridus Triceratops, the first gold dinosaur- Oh, actually, no. Second gold dinosaur out of the tournament already, alongside Pentaceratops. So Styracosaurus, the only gold left in the tournament. And I would probably say, given the matchups that he'll, that he'll face, I would suggest Styracosaurus is quite a strong favourite now going forward in this tournament. And I would be surprised if it doesn't get here, if it doesn't get all the way here. But, you know, Alpha Aeneasaurus is a tough customer to deal with, as is the, the OG Triceratops. And as for over here, where Maximus still on course to follow Armatus's footsteps and win in a mini tournament, we still got Alpha Chasmosaurus, Diceratops made it through after defeating the Zuniceratops. So yes, this qu the quarterfinal round is going to be very, very interesting. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, ring the bell, make sure you don't miss out on the that quarterfinal round. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer, signing out.